Hey guys, how's it going? This is Anthony Gray. Welcome to Grayscale. I'm going to do just a little attempt at uh, hibiscus. All right, kind of a different flower. I don't really uh, do too many of these, but we'll give this one a shot. Play around with some different brush strokes, um, all that good stuff. As you see, this is a already pre-made um, pattern. Um, this is probably a couple months old. I uh, this is watercolor paper 11 by 15, and I had extra paint, so I just watered down the canvas, put the paint on here, let it do whatever it's doing, um, use a little alcohol, spread let the patterns just develop and I left it as is and I made a group of them um, I think I only have maybe one or two more of these patterns left I just want to use up <coughs> use up the pattern and everything and try something a little different that I don't usually uh, usually do I did sketch out uh, the flower flowers there's two of them here okay um, the way I'm going to approach it because uh, these flowers have a few colors in them in each petal all right and usually the petal that I um, I'm going to do first will be the petal that's going to get overlapped by the other petals all right so I'm going to kind of approach it that way so I'll get a few brushes that I know I'll most likely be using a lot of which is a grip liner a f uh, two flat brushes one's a three-quarter inch one's a full inch uh, um, flat brush okay I'm going to coat my uh, first flowers of interest in uh, I'm going to use the shampoo shampoo and water mix alright uh, the reason why I'm using the shampoo water mix is kind of like what they would use liquid clear or liquid white in oil painting since I work with acrylics acrylics dry fast and I use it just to keep the uh, paint a little smooth, keep it wet a little longer so it's easier to blend. And that's basically uh, why I'm doing um, doing it in this way. And I think I will work on maybe the petal right here, this outside petal here. I'll just wet that up real quick. All right. And maybe if it dries by the time I get to it, then I'll just re-wet it couple of the petals here something like that as you see it comes on pretty clear all right if it tacks up and dries that's also fine I'm just gonna this one here I'll work on first okay now I will coat yonder petal with white you put this in some water just to keep it wet Now I'm kind of just doing uh, highlights in certain certain parts of the leaf, just certain certain parts, and you make sure you be mindful to overlap them. All right. Uh, I might want a stronger edge in one of them, so I'll uh, strengthen just the edge. This guy here, I might give it a slight push. But this, the leaf is showing through on the side. I want some of that translucent, uh, transparent petal to uh, be accented. So I will just give a push only on the edge itself. All right. This one here I will go over again. It's a little bright white. Get rid of that inside edge. All right. I'm going to need a little more white. I'm reaching over you. Sorry about that. <coughs> As the paint dries, you layer white on top of white, it just gets brighter. Alright. I'll do it again. I just wanted to kind of accent that area. Just push the rest in there, like so. And let's highlight. Give it a little push. And trail inward. Okay, this one here I want a little stronger. Just, just a little bit on the bottom. And accent that petal a little bit more. And you come 
on down in there. Just like that. And just give it a little, little push here. Mm, maybe a slight push here. Correct some of that right there. Okay, let's give a push right in there. Okay, I want to really push that pedal, give it the appearance that it's curved, and let it go right on into that red and yellow. All right, and maybe highlight some on the edge, going right in to the white, some a little brighter than others. I can play around with some of these edges because it gives the appearance of some some of some of the folds, okay, and some of the petals how they just wrinkle up a little bit, something like that. All right. Now, for uh, a couple of the green petals, I'll bring. Let's get a brush. I'm just give the impression of some leaves and, and petals going on around there. So I'm gonna take the opposite, green and red together, darken it red up, a little more red. Gives it a grayish brown color. Okay, just a little touch of the lotion, thin it up a little bit. And I'm just gonna give the appearance of a couple of leaves, some around here. I'm just, what I'm doing actually is just blocking it in. It will let your lead, uh, your your petals of your your uh, flowers stick out. Okay, something like that. I'm just gonna take the not white but yellow. I'll mix a little yellow and white, more yellow than white, and I'm just gonna play around some various tiny little strokes here and there something like that okay you don't have to overdo it just the appearance of a leaf in there all right got a little bit of a uh, darkness here and there on some of these guys before I do that let me get to a little bud here this guy he's uh, not quite there yet. He's trying. Can't get too mad at him. Something like that. Okay. Let me wipe off some of that. Get a little bit of the green. Just tease a little green in the bottom a little bit. And maybe around here. Okay. Let's clean that off. And for the very tippy tip just give a few touches of white either on the corner of the brush a uh, couple of stripes of white in there something like that all right let's go back into our green uh, maybe half green half red and let's put a put a nice little Spread that out there. That's what happens if you don't put no lotion in it. It breaks up. Just want to thin it out a little bit. We're going to do it again. Something like that. Okay. Just a little something in there. I'm going to take a tiny bit of deep yellow. A little bit of white. Just on the tip of the brush. The flat edge of the brush. And maybe just slide in a highlight or two in there. Something like that. Let it fade away a little bit. I might even give a couple strokes of a little white in that in that bud over there. Alright. Let's do another one. A little bit of red inside the green. Let's put another floating off right here. Have a little curve there. 
Okay, and I'll highlight just the edge of it. All right, and we're gonna put another one. We'll play around with that pedal in here and have it come straight down. Just like that. There. Something like that. Have a toy right on the edge of that pedal there. Like so. So you got a little little bud here. He's struggling. He's trying to be somebody. He's just not right quite there yet. So he has to grow a little bit. Give your give your give your leaves a backstory. Okay, I'm mixing in some red and some green because I'm want to really want him to stand out. So give him a little something to frame it like so. Have, just have him stand out a little bit. All right, and maybe I'll give him a little light source down there, a little a little. A little yellow, something like that. There. All right. This one here has a. He has a stem. Coming down. Get a little bit of white. Tiny bit of yellow. And let's give him a highlight right in there like that. I'm gonna wipe some of that up. Whoops. I forgot I was supposed to tape that. <coughs> We're gonna blend some of that in. Something like that. Alright. And maybe, just maybe, give them a little bit of a little leaf that's coming off of here. I'm going to give him, put a little red in there with him. With wiggle. Gives a little character. Okay. side here. Just playing with it a little bit. Just like that. Alright. Let's go to the other guy. Get a little lotion, a little paint into the deep green. Touch of just a touch of white on one side. Almost like a double uh one stroke method type of deal. I'll put this right in here come on down come across I have him come and just disappear in this direction something like that all right I'm gonna wipe this brush off I'm going to give him I'll give him some wiggle leaves in there too. Mixing a little red, a little green, a little white, gray it a little bit. And maybe I'm just starting off with the where I'm representing as the middle part of the leaf. I'm gonna hold it flat. Give it a nice little wiggle. Give it a little little, little uh, point. Run right here. A little point there. Another one right there. And let's put a little guy right in here. Like so. Let's take a little bit of like yellow and a little bit of that little white. I'm just patting it back and forth. So I want to highlight them a little bit. Make it stick out a little more than what it's been doing. Something like that. A little more here. Yeah, that's cool. Put one right, right across there. One right across the stem of the leaf itself. Something like that. Maybe you have one guy aiming downward. Something like that. Alright? Not too bad. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm looking. Probably put a couple of leaves up this way. Or, I think I'll throw a bud in there. Why not? Let's give that bud down there a little company, okay? So we're going to go maybe right around here. Let's put him up in there. Now, I kind of like the way that looks, 
I got some heavy paint here on the rim of the edge, so I'm gonna have that work for me. Okay, now I'm gonna take a touch of yellow, and right where, oh, let me put some white yellow in there so it makes a little sense here. Something like that. A couple of little, little stripes just like that. All right, clean off the brush. That's all I need for that. And let's surround him with some petals, okay? Uh, let's get a touch of green. Going a little fast. It's just, um, I want to really get rid of some of these paints. I got other projects coming up, so I just want to get rid of some of these, um, these mixed, uh, um, boards I have. Then come around, and then meet right there like that. That's one. Mixing up a little more red and more deep green. No lotion or anything. I'm going to have this one come here really thin. I'm going to have it bulge right out, right out, meet right in there. Just like that. Alright. I'm going to take a little white, a little yellow. And just give it kind of a highlight right in there. Same thing for this guy right up in there. You don't want your highlight to really be too strong. I just wiped off the brush. All right, and let's just lightly fade some of that green in there. Even on the other side here. And maybe you get rid of some of that down in here too. Soften it up a little bit. Something like that. Alright. I want a darker rim around. Mixing a little green, a little red, right in here. Just give it a little separation right up in there. Something like that. Let's have a little stem coming downward. Let's highlight that stem a little bit with a little yellow white. Uh, let's put it on the right hand side, something like that. Right up in there like so. Right into that darkness there. Something like that. Okay. Let's put some leaves, get a little lotion, help paint the flow. A little lotion. Um, not lotion, shampoo, shampoo, shampoo is shampoo, not lotion, and a little water. Loosens it up a little bit. I'll put some leaves string it off. And maybe up around here, a little let's string it off somewhere. Maybe one down here, like that. Something like that. All right. Let's see. I think I still might want to put some darker leaves around here somewhere. And uh, I'm going to. Let's put one. Maybe. Let's get it pretty dark. I want a nice dark one. I'm going to overlap with a couple of leaves here. Get a little lotion. Loosen it up a bit. Let's put a nice leaf coming just coming down just right here like that and I'm going to make it nice and narrow and maybe have one come out that way yeah, something like that I'm going to get some white and some yellow. <coughs> Mix them both together. I still got the sap green in there, or the deep green. Okay, it gives me a grayish green, but all I want is a, a highlight. Something like that. I'm turning the brush around and give it a little. Nope, not thin enough. Thin my brush to a nice fine point. I'm going to do that again. 
just like so. Okay. I might want to have a darker half. Something like that. And darken one edge of the highlighted part. Or something like that. Okay, I'm looking at it. I still want a stronger highlight on one of the leaves just to make it pop a little bit. So I'm going to take a touch of white only on the outside part and stroke some of those in there and yeah, get some more of the uh, mixing white and highlight that tip a little bit just adding a little more highlights and variances to a couple of these guys down in here in here have it just come around just playing around right now okay I want to let that leaf up here that petal I want it to shine a little bit more something like that maybe even in the inside of this one here come around and wiggle some variant variety and the other leaf in there much like that. Not looking too bad, right? Something kind of quick. Okay, I want to brighten that area a little more. So I'll just dry brush. I just want it a little bit brighter up in here. stick out a little more okay wipe off the brush now that I got a little layer of white I can play around with the yellow Just little highlights on that petal a little bit like that all right I want these to stick out a little bit. I'm gonna get some lotion, dipping it. Nothing in the pure white. Some more on the on the on the um, the tip. And just flick away. I want some more on this guy here. Give it a little little push and flick inside. Push. Just flick inside. A little push. Even if it's on the tape, it's okay. And some out here. I even got a little bit of yellow. Just a little bit in there. I might even tease a little red in there. Why not? deep red just let it travel a little bit these are my fingers just to get rid of some of the hard edge but something like that okay clean off the brush as I'm looking at it might want to just a little more I find my white here I want to separate some of those petals just a little bit more than what I'm looking at another pure white edge of the brush and maybe just a little more thicker separation on some of these uh, petals especially around this one here have it come right in and I'm gonna give a slight push to a couple of these guys turn the 
and brush over, like push, and rough up some of those edges too. I just want a stronger sense of separation between some of these. Something like that. And maybe a couple around here. And I want a couple of streaks coming. What's going on in the inside in here? Something like that. And maybe one coming right straight in like that. Okay. All right. Let's get to the circular part in there. I'm going to use. We're almost done here. Just something quick, something fast. I want. Well, let me. It's one side of this uh, stem. I want it a little darker. So I'm gonna get the slightest touch of black. Mix it in here. I want. this part a little darker too. Let's get that nice and dark. In between the petals in here. Something like that. Just to separate a little bit. Maybe a little bit in here too. Just the outline. Just a slight outline. Feather some of that into the Petal itself. Not too much. The background's already kind of crazy. So I just want to feather just a little bit, maybe a little bit under here. Not too much. Just like that. Alright, I'm checking things out here, just looking. to uh, have too much bright white and yellow. I just want to separate it a little bit. I'll keep looking, just checking things out here. Okay, let's work on that center part of the flower here. Different brush all together on this one. I use this guy. Get some red, a little bit of green, just a slight touch of black. And we're going to give a little pat all in here. Like so. Surround the whole thing. Cover up my little dot. But I really want the outside edge to kind of blend in a little bit into that reddish area. Like so. I am going to get nothing but this pure yellow, makes a little white in it, and right here in the center, I want it brightest here in the center, just have it filter out a little bit, it's okay, it's like so, get a little white, dab it, because I want the, the center the brightest, dab around. Wipe off the brush a little bit. Maybe even tease a little, little, just a slight hint of green in that. OK. 
Okay. Now, I'm going to get a little bit of the yellow, tapping the side of the brush. It's just a um, round brush. A slight bit of white. <coughs> Excuse me. I knew that was coming. And I'm going to go tap slightly around the edge. Especially where the flower is supposed to connect toward the middle. Okay. Now, in doing this, I'm going to take white and lightly tap. Oh, some around the edge. It's only going to be a certain uh, circumference. I'm not going in full circles. Won't have to. Just around the rim here. Like so. Okay. See, that's not too bad. It's pretty cool. I'm checking the time here. Time's not too bad. All right. Now, I might want to put some slight variances in my petals. I'm taking a little purple. I'm going to make a slight, a slight glaze here and there. I'm going to take my highlighter right now, a little bit of lotion, put it right in the, with the color. Loosen up that violet a little bit. Take a tiny bit of white and mix it in there. Violet with a little bit of white and you place it on green or whatever color. It just, it just really, um, the color really just pops out. Okay, and I'll put a couple little highlights here and there on this. And just be careful with where you place them. It does stick out, stand out. I'm only going to put them in a few little areas. Just a few spots. Uh, trailing down here a little bit. Just a few, few little spots. I mainly want it as a glaze. So I'm going to take a brush, take some more white, dip it into the purple a little bit. Instead of water, I'm going to use the lotion. The more lotion you put, on this the more opaque or not opaque the more translucent it will be and that's what I want and some of the flowers some of the petals in the inside I'll give a little a little purplish tint too all right just in spots you really don't need it all over and you will it will be noticeable believe me it will be no especially when you take a picture of it I don't want it all over the place. Just, just highlight it in certain areas. And that's all. Kind of more or less in the inside in here. Inside of your petal. Okay. Something like that. Maybe play with some of the highlights out here. Just a few. That's all you need. But it, it does change it. It gives it a little, a little more depth. Alright. Some more lotion. A little more of this purple it really opens up the paint but it doesn't unbind. Got a tad of white in it. Okay. And maybe place some shadows in some of these guys here in the back. Like that. And maybe some back here. And a little bit under here. All right, clean this off. I'm going to take some 
black the tiniest bit mix it right in with the lotion Get some more lotion on a slight shade underneath these guys a little bit and I can even feather this So I'm using my finger to get rid of what I don't want and shade the rest. And that's all I'm doing. Some more. Go in between the petals. You don't need a, a very powerful uh, shade to get the, the the depth you want. Only a little bit will do you. You know that commercial, a little dab will do you. It's pretty much the same thing. All right, as you can see, I'm just checking things out a little bit. Okay. All right. I think that should be really about it with this guy. Don't have to really add too much more to him, them. Okay. Maybe just a few extremely bright pushes. I always like to make sure the parts that I want to stick out really stick out. All right basically what I'm doing. There. Get a little more white, solid white, and bring it down in. Whoops, get out of there. Alright, I think that's about it really. Don't have to add any more. Like I say, it's just a little, little quick one here. All right. Sign my name to it. And then that's it. Just wanted to show my little attempt at uh, one of the hibiscus there. I think I'm going to shade a little more on this one leaf because I need it to be settled a little darker in there. So I'm just using a lot of lotion. Yeah, you can hear all sorts of traffic going on out here. I just want to darken one petal in here. Set him in the back a little bit. That's it. Especially in this guy here should really be in the dark. So I'm gonna use a little more, a little more black. Overlapping fashion. When it dries. she dries the color will spread and she'll look fine there I wanted him really back there now we'll take a little white and just highlight that one petal just a little bit fade him in there just like so Maybe give him a little little highlight in there. Just tease a little highlight back there. If you want to lighten up some of the dark, if it's too dark, this is just little fine, touchy things. I really don't want it to be exactly white, so I'm dipping it a little bit into the red and white. And just give it a little, little brush. This one too. Move that out a little bit. There. All right, and one more blast of white in that center. All in here. Circular motion, half circle, and right at that top, right here, all 
in there and just brighten that up a little bit. Have it spread out. Just like that. Alright guys, that's it. Yeah, we're under, a little under an hour. When I get done clipping this, it'll be at least under an hour on this one. I would like to thank you for watching. Very quick video. Just something I wanted to do real fast. Is I'm more or less just getting rid of a lot of the uh, a lot of the uh, pre-colored paper I got. And I can work on some other things. All right. Put my name on it. I'll put it on the different side this time. Any comments? Let me know. Put the, put them down below. And uh, I will try my best to answer them. All right. Let me know what you think. Um, I'd love to hear your opinion. So if you want to try something like this out, you know, I would love to see it put it on my board. Um, well, I think that's about it. I've already pre-treated the sides of this thing with black. Okay. As you can see. And uh like I say, let me let me know what to think. I already gave it a black border way ahead of time. That's what you're looking at right here. So it's already a done deal. And yes, I already got it taped up, that's why it's not falling. And there you go. Alright guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll check you next time. Um, God bless, happy painting, and uh, love to hear your comments. Bye-bye.